Hi everyone, this video is about olive oil and how it applies to longevity. It's going to be a little longer the video, so I, I am giving you timestamps just in case you don't have time to watch the whole video. You can just use the timestamps to make it easier for you. So let's get into this. The olive tree originated during the Copper Age in the 6th millennium BC and it first appeared during the Bronze Age in Italy. Etruscan and Roman civilizations in the Middle Ages and Renaissance widely used its fruit and oil. The ancient Greeks called extra virgin olive oil the elixir of youth and health. Okay. Aging is a complex process and it causes changes in all areas of our body like our DNA, our chromosomes and how our cells communicate. These changes are called the hallmarks of aging which include the following nine, okay? Genomic instability, telomere attrition, epigenetic alterations, loss of proteostasis, deregulation, deregulated nutrient sensing, mitochondrial dysfunction, cellular senescence, stem cell exhaustion, altered intracellular communication. According to this study on the screen, olive oil, especially the virgin kind, can directly benefit all of these hallmarks. It does, this due, it does this due to its unique content of fatty acids called oleic acid and other minor compounds called sequinoids, such as hydroxytyrosol, tyrosol, caffeic acid, oleopean aglycone, and oleocantal that can change how our genes work. Studies in cells, animals, and people have shown that olive oil can help with the hallmarks of aging. This may be a significant factor why people who eat a Mediterranean diet with a lot of olive oil have better health a lower, and a lower risk of age-related diseases and a longer lifespan. So now, let's examine how olive oil positively impacts cellular pathways altered with aging. Let's start with genomic instability. Let's see how it it affects this. As we age, our genetic material, DNA, becomes damaged. One damage that often occurs is oxidative damage to a specific type of DNA called mitochondrial DNA. This is particularly important because mitochondrial DNA is found in the mitochondria, the small structures inside the cells that produce energy for our body and is present in all our cells. When mitochondrial DNA is damaged, it can cause problems for the cell and the body as a whole. The damage is caused by oxygen radicals. These are molecules that can harm the cells. And the mitochondria cannot repair the DNA and other parts of the cell. Some studies have shown that the phenolic compounds found in virgin olive oil can help reduce the amount of mitochondrial DNA damage that occurs. According to this study, you can help protect your cells by consuming 50 grams a day or three and three quarter cups, three, three and three quarter teaspoons of olive oil due to its effective absorption. Next one, olive oil on telomere attrition or shortening. Telomeres are structures that are protect that, that protect the ends of chromosomes found in cells, and their shortening is associated with aging. Telomere length is a biomarker of aging, with shorter telomeres being linked to decrease life expectancy and increase rates of chronic diseases. Some studies have found a positive relationship between adherence to a Mediterranean diet, which includes olive oil, and telomere length. However, more research is needed to determine the direct effect of olive oil intake on telomere length and whether these findings can be generalized to, the, to other populations. The next hallmark, which is epigenetic alterations. Let's see how olive oil affects this. Epigenetics <clears throat> is the study of alterations, changes in how genes are used without modifications to the DNA sequence. You know, the letters, A's. These changes can be caused by diet, exercise, and even stress. Okay? One of the most well-known types of epigenetic modifications is called DNA methylation. This is when a molecule called a methyl group attaches to the DNA and can turn genes on and off, like a switch. A recent study looked at how a particular type of diet, typical of the Mediterranean, high in olive oil, might, might affect DNA methylation. 
The study found that a specific ratio of healthy fats called monounsaturated fats, MUFAS, to saturated fats okay, in the diet will link to changes in DNA methylation. Olive oil may also affect epigenetics through a process called histone acetylation. Histones are proteins that DNA wraps around, and this process can change the way the genes are expressed. Studies have also found that olive oil and the Mediterranean diet may influence how certain genes related to aging and age-related diseases such as metabolic syndrome are used. It is important to note that these findings are still being studied and more research is needed to fully understand the mechanism behind the association of olive oil with epigenetic changes. It is also important to consider that many other factors such as environmental factors and genetics can influence epigenetics. <clears throat> the next hallmark, proteostasis. Proteostasis or protein homeostasis is how cells keep their proteins working properly, working correctly. There are different ways that cells do this, like using helpers called chaperones to keep proteins folded correctly and systems to get rid of the damaged proteins. As we age, and in certain age-related diseases, this protein homeostasis process doesn't work as well. The study shows that certain components in olive oil, namely oleuropein, has been found to positively affect this process in laboratory studies, suggesting that olive oil may help prevent or treat age-related diseases and changes. The next hallmark, nutri nutrient-sensing pathways. As we age, our body's ability to maintain balance, known as homeostasis, deteriorates, leading to a decline in function and an increased risk of disease and death. One of the ways this process is characterized by changes in how our body uses insulin and other hormones. This is also known as changes in nutrient-sensing pathways, such as mTOR. These changes include insulin resistance, changes in body compositions, and declines in sex hormones, growth hormones, and IGF-1. Okay? Genetic manipulations in animals have shown that down-regulating these pathways can lead to increased lifespan. However, the relationship is com complex, as low levels of growth hormone and IGF-1 are also associated with aging. To minimize cell growth and metabolism, the body may activate a defense response that can be harmful and accelerate aging. To counter these adverse effects, some researchers used oleocanthal found in olive oil to improve nutrient sensing pathways, particularly mTOR, which suppressed it by more than 60% and helped protect the body from damage caused by age-related diseases. The next hallmark, mit mitochondrial dysfunction. Mitochondrial dysfunction is a problem with how the mitochondria, the tiny powerhouses inside the cells that produce energy, function. When the mitochondria don't work correctly, the cells in the body don't get the energy they need to function, which can lead to health problems such as fatigue, muscle weakness, and problems of coordination. As we get older, the accumulation of damage caused by molecules called reactive oxygen species, ROS, in our cells and tissues can contribute to the decline of our physical function. Studies have shown that a diet rich in polyunsaturated fats, PUFAS, can increase the susceptibility of mitochondria to oxidative damage. In contrast, a diet rich in monounsaturated fats, the MUFAS, can have a protective effect. Olive oil is a good source or monounsaturated fats, specifically oleic acid. This means that incorporating olive oil in your diet may help support the healthy function of your mitochondria. Additionally, olive oil has been found to have anti-inflammatory properties, which can also help protect the mitochondria and improve their function. The next hallmark, cellular senescence. A meta-analysis of 300 studies discovered that the INK4A-ARF locus is genetically linked to the most 
age-related diseases like heart disease, diabetes, and Alzheimer's. The IAK4A and the ARF locus is a specific chromosome location containing two crucial genes, IAK4A and ARF. These genes have been implicated in establishing senescent states in response to various stresses, signaling imbalances, and telomere shortening. Studies have shown that people from the Mediterranean areas who consume a lot of extra virgin olive oil have a lower risk of developing these age-related diseases, especially Alzheimer's. A study was conducted to see how extra virgin olive oil affects Alzheimer's in mice. The mice were divided into three groups. One group was fed normal diet, the other two groups were fed a diet with extra virgin olive oil for three months and six months. The results showed that the mice fed the extra virgin olive oil had less of a protein called amyloid beta, which is linked to Alzheimer's. The study also found that extra virgin olive oil helped remove amyloid beta from the brain and improved the function of some proteins involved in the removal of the amyloid beta. Two other studies used oleocantal, oleocantal to see its effect on Alzheimer's in mice and human cells. The results, the results showed that it also reduced the amount of amyloid beta and improved its removal. Both studies suggest that EVO, extra virgin olive oil, and oleocantal may have benefits for preventing and reducing symptoms of Alzheimer's disease. The next hallmark, stem, stem cell exhaustion. Stem, <coughs> excuse me, stem cell exhaustion is when the body runs out of stem cells over a long period of time. These special cells can turn into different type of cells and help repair and regenerate body tissues. Okay? As we get older, the number of stem cells in our body decreases. And the ones, left, left, the ones that are left become less active and less able to divide and change into different cells. This can cause the body to have more challenging time repairing itself and an increased chance of age-related diseases like osteoporosis, diabetes, and cancer. This study looked at how olive oil may help with stem cell exhaustion and age-related diseases. It found that certain compounds in olive oil like oleuropein, apigenin, and luteolin may help improve bone health. The production of blood stem cells, known as hematopiosis, and overall aging. The researchers showed how this unique compound could prevent bone loss, improve bone density, enhance the ability of stem cells to change into different cells, and change the way stem cells behave. They may also help stem cells release chemicals that can promote the growth of new blood vessels and help regulate the immune system. The next hallmark, alterations of intracellular communication pathways. Okay? As we get older, our bodies change in how our cells communicate with each other. One crucial change is inflammation, which is, which is when specific cells go to an area that is hurt or infected to try to fix it. Okay? But as we age, our bodies don't handle inflammation as well, which makes us more likely to get infections and have long-term inflammation problem known as inflammaging. This can happen because of various factors, uh, such as uh, changes in certain genes or exposure to viruses or bacteria. Many studies have found that <clears throat> polyphenols found in extra virgin olive oil can help with the cellular communication. One type of polyphenol called hydroxytyrosol has been found to help with inflammation by stopping certain genes and enzymes that cause inflammation from working. Studies have also found that hydroxytyrosol can help protect cells from damage and reduce the amount of particular chemical postglandin E2, PGE2, that causes, causes inflammation. But hydroxytyrosol is not the only polyphenol in extra virgin olive oil that has anti-inflammatory properties. Other polyphenols like oleoprimerine, <laughs> Oleocantal and apigenin have been found to have similar effects. These words are hard to pronounce. Studies, have, studies in humans have suggested that consuming virgin olive oil may decrease inflammation markers and protect cardiovascular health. So, in conclusion, a lot of evidence suggests that consuming olive oil, particularly the virgin or the extra virgin oil, can have various 
health benefits related to aging and hallmarks. Olive oil, olive oil and its components can have both direct and indirect effect in cells. Its sequitoids are particularly important age-related processes. Olive oil can protect DNA from oxidative stress and damage, and it can also help to maintain genomic stability. There needs to be more research on the effects of olive oil on telomere length or telomerase activity, which should be studied further. Olive oil can also cause epigenetic changes and can have an age and tissue specific effect on protein function. As phenolic compounds can also help prevent and manage age related diseases such as diabetes, cognitive decline, and inflammation. So I, I strongly, I, me, I, I eat olive oil, I eat one or two tablespoons every day. I put it in my food. I highly suggest if you don't eat olive oil, you should start because make sure you get the extra virgin olive oil that's the one that has the best effect. I hope this information helped. Have a great day and see you soon in my next video.